So I've got some ants that have moved into the yard and I think it's time to get rid of them. I'm gonna try three different ways. I'll show you guys each method and uh, we'll see which one works best. So here's what method one looked like after a week. I only found one ant there. Method number two is still crawling. There are ants everywhere. And method number three, not a single ant anywhere. So the first method I'm gonna be testing is the uh, one and a half cups of water. Uh, I'm going to add a half a cup of sugar and then I'm gonna put a tablespoon and a half of borax and we're just gonna use those cotton swabs, soak it up in there and chuck them on the ant colony and see what happens. Now I realize that not everybody might have borax kicking around the house like we do. Oh, there's the water getting warm for our, uh, for our ant solution. Anyway, I'll uh, try to find it on Amazon. If I do find it, I'll leave a link in the description. Now, working at dissolving this, but this uh, borax is proving to be a bit of a bear cat to get dissolved. So uh, I'm just going to keep going and uh, crunching these little whatever they are. And get this stuff all dissolved before I use it. I did add about another half a cup of water to hopefully make that a little bit easier. All right, well, that's not 100% dissolved, but it's pretty dang close. We're going to call it close enough. Let's get the uh, cotton swabs chucked in there, and we'll take them outside and feed some ants. All right, so I did take and rough up the colony a little bit just to kind of get the ant activity going, and I chucked three cotton swabs on this thing, and it didn't take more than a couple of seconds, and you can see that there's ant activity almost right away. They're starting to suck the whatever uh, borax nectar off of there. Not ready for method number two. I always keep diatomaceous earth in the garage. It's organic. <laughs> what more can I say? It should do the trick as well. So we'll try that on the second one. So you might be wondering why I'm uh, choosing to do three different methods. I definitely had a product that I knew worked or it worked well for us in the front, not to specifically using it on an ant colony or like an ant hill like this. I was trying to save this plant. My wife's got a bunch of flowers uh, kind of in this vicinity in our backyard. So I figured if I dusted them with that uh, diatomaceous earth, it does kill insects. It's supposed to dry out the inside of their exoskeleton. My hope was to be able to save that plant. The downside to this stuff is diatomaceous earth is not fussy and it'll kill all the insects in the area. And we do like our pollinators. And last but not least, method number three, we know this stuff has worked in the front. I don't know if it kills the ants, but they're definitely not around after we use this stuff. So we'll try this out on the third one. So I'll show you exactly how much of this stuff I ended up spraying on there. We ended up mowing the day before, I think, uh, that I put this one on. And uh, you can kind of see that it is already a little bit disturbed and there's quite a bit of act ant activity at the surface. So I didn't feel I needed to rough this one up at all. And that's it. All right, so I'm going to put this stuff away and uh, we'll check back every day. Let's find out what does the trick. Maybe all of them work. I don't know. All right, so it's been about six days since I did the whole ant thing. I'm going to head outside now and kind of see where it's at. The day after I put all these stuff down, it did end up raining, so I did have to reapply to all three. So let's go ahead and just, I mean, you guys can pick which one you think is the best. All right, after six days, I took the cotton swabs off of the borax method here and I roughed this thing up just to kind of see how much ant activity there was still going on. And you can see right away, there's a whole bunch of ants still coming up to the surface and there's still a lot of livelihood. It definitely has put a dent in the colony, I feel like, but uh, it's definitely not the winner right now. Method number two, our diatomaceous earth has definitely done a whole heck of a lot. It has taken the ant colony way down. Unfortunately, there's just no nice way to get in there and finish these guys off. So I roughed them right up. Uh, this plant is going to end up just totally destroyed except for the perimeter of it. But uh, yeah, still tons of ant activity. Now method number three here, this one has been really successful. You can see, uh, even after roughing this thing up, uh, there's all of one ant that I count. Maybe you guys see, oh, there's a couple more at the bottom, but there's almost no ant activity in the, uh, the spray. So at this point in time, the borax with the cotton swabs did not work, but uh, I figured, well, you know what? I had the solution anyways that I was redabbing with. 
why not just take and pour the whole thing on top of the colony and see what that does. The plant in the back was already ended up totally thrashed. I figured I'd give it my best go with the diatomaceous earth at this point in time and gave it a generous reapplication. As you can see, it's pretty white on the top and uh, hopefully it'll finish off whatever's left there. Now for method number three here, I did end up roughing it up as well for the earlier part of the video here. So I just ended up giving it a bunch uh, more squeezes of this stuff and figured I'd finish off whatever was left over inside that colony. So it's been about a week since I started the whole ant thing out. Um, let's go see what worked best. So method number one here, we'll rough this thing up and uh, the verdict is in. I think uh, there's one ant I found, but uh, it looks like the colony is pretty much wiped out. So after 10 days, uh, I call it a success. Method number two, diatomaceous earth. It's definitely taken population down again, but as soon as I rough this thing back up and dig a little bit, there's still ants everywhere. So the diatomaceous earth, I don't know, this stuff always kills insects, but it did a pretty poor job in my opinion. Method number three, uh, the ground is definitely harder here and you can kind of see it. It doesn't really rough up, but I was uh, unable to find a single ant anywhere close by. So I'm thinking the Wilson uh, spray was the best. And for uh, the diatomaceous earth one, Enough playing around. We know the Wilson's, uh, in my opinion, was the best solution. Although the borax also definitely worked when you just poured it out on top of the ant hill. But uh, I'm going to spray this thing down and we're going to finish this thing off. I've already brutally just murdered this plant here. So whatever. Enough playing around. It's time to finish this job off so the wife's plant can recover. For the exact ant spray that I'm using here, I will try to find it on Amazon and leave a link down below. Hopefully I get lucky and uh, I can help you guys out with that.